everyone and welcome back to for moms like me okay so today's video is very special to my heart today is the day my baby girl Ruby rain is finally getting baptized oh my goodness in a way I'm really really happy that it's finally happening but she's 10 months old and you know usually traditionally babies are supposed to be christened or baptized you know like I guess at around two three months old I mean maybe even older but not ten months old I mean she's almost a year but oh my goodness when they tell you that the second time around it's like different they're not kidding I mean with my first daughter we were all so excited to do so many things and we were so eager and now with our second baby girl it's like oh we have time and then before you know it all the time is just going by so before we even realized it, um, you know, she was, you know, getting up there in age. And her blessing was definitely, certainly overdue. I mean, she's a blessing already, but we just want to make that blessing official with all of family and friends and her godparents that we're going to be bringing into our big circle um, called family. So today's episode video is really about some smart and cute affordable ideas for your baby's baptism or christening. So we're not having a huge celebration, but I did put together a few very cute little things, um, including ornaments and some little takeaways like this cute little dove you see on my shirt. Um, very affordable piece that you know adds a very nice flavor and adds an accent to your event and your special occasion so I'm gonna take you on a bit of a journey from purchasing her gown her her baptism gown and where I got it um, also very affordable to the favors that we will be given to all our guests um, and a few other um, very cute gift ideas even some ideas for you as the mom as to what you can wear to your baby's um, it's a very special religious occasion. So stay tuned. I decided to go with a very traditional dress this time around. As compared to with Opal Rose the first time, we did something very non-conventional. But I really fell in love with this dress. I mean, what is there not to love? The beautiful lace work, the pearl buttons, and the embroidery. And I also love the fact that this dress came with a beautiful bonnet. The shoes I got from Carter's, but the dress was ordered on Amazon.com for around $25. I found these precious dove pins on orientaltrading.com and they were quite inexpensive. Coming in at around $5.99 per dozen, I ordered two packs. These dove pins add such a special personal touch to your event and it's also a great keepsake for your guests. Finding the perfect gift for our guests took a bit of research and was a bit of a challenge simply because I like giving gifts that are meaningful and practical. I was able to find these glitter cross votive candles on Boku.com for around $1.50 each. I then decided to customize the gifts by adding a unique personal touch with these customized tags. Boku.com has a very user friendly software online that allows you to make your own creations. Each tag comes with its own string, so I didn't have to worry about that. I then attached the customized tags directly to the bow on the box. I then made three knots just to make sure that the tags were secure. I then tied a small bow.
I adjusted the strings so the bow wasn't too big but just right. Then I used a pair of scissors and cut along the extra string. And voila, there you have your own customized, beautiful baptismal or christening giveaway. And what would a gift be without the perfect packaging? I found these amazing gold and silver cross gift bags on orientaltrading.com for around $6.50 per dozen. A great addition to any event is this Fujifilm Instax Mini Instant Camera. Basically, it's the new Polaroid. Guests can therefore take pictures at your event which will be readily available making for another great keepsake. For a $60 investment, this Fujifilm camera will be a great addition to any future event or special occasion. cakes by Sweet Sue's Cakes not only looked beautiful but tasted mm, so good. If you're interested I'll leave details in the comment box below. Now for what I wore. Now in keeping with tradition, I decided to go with an off-white ensemble which included these tailored wide leg trousers coupled with a lace blazer. I then decided to go with a soft pink inner blouse and topped the outfit off with a statement piece necklace and a simple earrings. Thank you so much for watching and I hope you enjoyed. Please don't forget to like, share and subscribe to my channel.